Hello, in this video on graphing linear inequalities, we're going to discuss some strategies on figuring out where we're going to shade the graph. A lot of students, they, they're okay with actually graphing the line part, the linear portion, then they just don't know whether to shade on the left or the right or top or bottom. So we're going to discuss these strategies here. Where do I shade the graph? So there's one method, which is a tried and true method, and that's called using a test point. So you pick a point somewhere on the graph, and that point is either going to be shaded or not shaded. So you pick a point, you plug the values into your inequality, and you're going to result with either a true situation or a false situation. If it's true, then that point it lies within the shaded region. Go ahead and shade the rest of that region. However, if you use logic, if you use a logic, I consider this to be the easier method. You don't have to test any points. You just think about it, and you're going to use logic while thinking of the y-axis, or the x-axis, depending on the problem. So essentially we're going to be asking ourselves, well the y-axis goes up and down, and it may say something like y is less than. So we're going to read the inequality out loud, and the inequality may say y is less than. In other words, we want values of y that are smaller than the graph we just made. We're going to shade values of y below the graph. So this would tell us to shade below the graph. I actually prefer this method, although we're going to do a test point method first. We're going to try four simple examples first. So I've graphed partially these inequalities. y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 3. Well here's the line and it is a solid line, but then let's first test a point. The easiest point anywhere on this coordinate axis is the point 0 comma 0. So if we test this point, we're going to say x is 0 and y is 0. So the inequality would say 0 is greater than or equal to 2 times 0 is 0, minus 3, 0 minus 3 is a negative 3. And is this a true statement? 0 is greater than negative 3. This is true. So we are going to shade in this region. Okay, I'm not going to shade it now because I want to use the logic method. But that's the test point method. Pick a point either on one side of the line or the other, plug it in, plug in the x and y values. If it's a true situation, that region is going to be shaded. If it turns out to be false, then you shade on the other region. Now let's try the logic method. The logic method says that we, first off, are paying attention that the y-axis goes up and down. And this inequality starts with the variable y y is greater than the line we graphed. So we want y values that are greater than the line. So here's the line. We want all the values of y that are greater than the line. So our shading is going to be above the line, just as we did with the test point. Let's try another one. And again, we're just going to use logic for these. the rest of these. We read the inequality out loud. Y is less than the line that we graphed. And again, I graphed these earlier. Y is less than the line. We want all the values of Y, and again, Y goes up and down, all the values of Y that are less than, in other words, values of Y that are below the graph. Y is less than the graph. Let's try a couple more. Here, we have a horizontal line. y is less than or equal to 1. Well, y equals 1 is this horizontal line. So how do, we agree, uh, how do we shade this? Again, we say it out loud. y is less than the line we graphed. Again, we're going to be shading below the line. And lastly, we have an inequality that actually is in terms of x. Remember what we keep saying about the x and y axis. We keep talking about the y axis. But this inequality, the borderline is vertical. So how do we know where to shade? Well, we're not going to talk about up or down. We're going to think in terms of the x-axis. And the x-axis going to the right is greater than. x-axis going to the left is less than. So we're going to read the inequality out loud. x is greater than 3. In other words, I want all the values of x that have a greater value than 3. And x goes to the right greater than this line. So I'm going to shade over here to the right.